Damn, man, am I psychic or what? What is going on? So I just had to make a video about that. I can't sleep. Making some female ballers. But uh, I had to jump on here and uh, just, man, I'm, I'm scared. What the fuck? I signed Blake Snell the other day, as you all know, to a three-year, 55 million ideal. Then he signs with, um, who did he sign with? The Giants uh, for two years, $62 million, $7 million off from my thing. And uh, I signed J.D. Martinez today. And then he signs with the Mets. Both the two biggest remaining free agents signed the same day I signed them. How about that? Uh, let's see what JD got. I mean, yeah, I, it doesn't really scare me. Like he's not gonna do anything with the. I mean, the, he's not do anything for the Mets. I should put it that way. Like he, it doesn't matter if he balls out. The Mets have nothing. And this is uh, this move this is a, the, a, certainly a Mets move if there was one. Um, like I don't I don't get like why, but but hey, as people told me, I don't know ball like. But, uh, you know, I mean, what is he going to do, you know? I, mean, I feel like a move like that, J.D. could have really upped a contender, like Tampa Bay or something like that. <laughs> like, But I don't know. Hey, he, but he's with the Mets. He he signed with somebody. So, uh, yeah. The Mets payroll is, is, according to Bob Nightingale, boob. Uh, the Mets 40-man payroll is $325 million. $69 million of dead money. Yeah, the Mets GM doesn't know ball, whoever that is. But uh, that dude's crazy. Um, but you already know Cohen's crazy. But uh, $325 million to have to win like 70 games. Man, it, I don't understand how you get out of this. Like, if I was a Mets GM, I'd retire probably. Or like, just do something else. I'd be like, I fucked up. I like, tried to sign all those dudes two years ago. And then just, man, who didn't see that coming? We all knew it was going to blow up. But, man, how do you keep your job after that? Like, Cohen must just be a really easygoing guy. Because, I mean, it was his fault, too. I mean, shit. Remember, Cohen was the one who, um, was he placed to call when Correa became available after his deal with the Giants fell through? He was, like, in, like, like Hawaii or something, and the time zones, like, linked up. And he was the one that uh, signed Correa before that deal fell through. Like, Cohen, I don't know how hands-on he is. Like, who's really making the signings? But, um. Wait, what's the Mets? I just look it up. Like I have a computer right in front of me. Carlos Mendoza. Like, who is that? He has a Yankees hoodie on in the um in the picture. I'm like, what? <laughs> I love the, the top people ask for on Google what happened to the Mets general manager. Like he disappeared. What? Billy Epler was suspended through the 2024 World Series uh, by Rob Manfred, concluded that he directed a team says to fabricate injuries, create open roster spots. What in the world? So that's why Carlos Mendoza is the GM. It was Epler who I know. I did not know that was going on. Fabricating injuries. Unbelievable. That Mets going to met, I guess. Is Buck Showalter still there? Like, what is, I don't know anything going on outside of the Braves. Like, I'll admit that shit. Like, man, I am totally uh, oblivious to a lot of things. But I know that I can tell you one thing with um, with, with all confidence, with all certainty. J.D. Martinez ain't going to put the Mets over the top. But uh, I think we'd all agree to that. But who, who is the Mets? What is going on with the Metropolitans? Let's turn this to a Mets video. Let's laugh at them. List of Mets managers. Casey Stangl was number one, and that dude <laughs> he was so bad. Oh, 175 and 404 was not his fault. Those were the first years of the Mets. Casey Stangl was an incredible manager. He was the first dude to wear shades on a baseball field. I love Casey Stangl. He was so cool. What? Carlos Mendoza is the manager, too? Wikipedia is lying to me. So I Google who is the general manager of the Mets, and I got Carlos Mendoza. I think they meant – I thought I was asking who was the manager of the Mets. But Google's – I guess it, is it still Epler? But who steps in while Epler is suspended? I mean, what in the world is going on? Okay. Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, three days after owner uh, Cohen hired David Stearns. I know that name. It's president of baseball operations. What? Epler resigned? Oh, shit. So he's not even there anymore. David Stearns. Yeah, I know that face. 
I know David Stearns. Where'd he go? Where, we, where was he at? Yep, I knew him from the Indians. That's where I've heard the name. That movie came out. Uh, movie. Moneyball came out, um, I think, right around um, then. And I was like, doing like a deep dive into like, what was going on with the Indians at the time. And David Stearns was the um, was baseball director. That's where I knew that name from. Because, uh, you know, in the movie Moneyball, uh, what's his name came from the Indians? Uh, the player that, uh, the Peter Brand dude. But anyways, um, yeah, it's David Stearns now. And David Stearns is actually a really smart dude. He's been, he was with Milwaukee from 2015, 2023. I think he's going to do a great job as Mets GM. That's one positive thing I can say about the Mets. They got a good one in David Stearns. He's good. He's a, he's a fucking baseball genius. He's a, like a boy genius. Like, he was only 39. He's been in baseball since like 09. It's crazy. But, uh, but yeah, David Stearns, he's going to turn the Mets around. I, I have confidence he can do it. And with um with um Cohen's payroll, I'm I'm worried. Like they're gonna um if you the mess three to five years, they'll be right there with us. But uh yeah, it's not even what this video was about. It's about um JD Martinez signing the same day I signed him on this game. Snell did the same thing. That is pretty wild. But uh Mets future's bright, but JD ain't gonna do nothing.